One of New Orleans' most famous landmarks is Metairie Cemetery, dating back to 1872. Today, it's home to Lake Lawn Metairie Funeral Home. And in 2006, it added a pet cremation and bereavement center called Heaven's Pets. So come with me now to learn about the products and services available for your pet's final resting place. I'm joined by Jennifer Milius, the president and owner of Heaven's Pets. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Mary. It's great to be here. And you know you have a wonderful job. Not only are you involved with the pet world, but you can have your pets at work as you have them here today. It is. It's, it's comforting not only to us, but it's also comfort, comforting to the families that bring their pets to us, their deceased pets to us. Well, Jennifer, what's normally offered when a pet passes? Um, a pet passes at a veterinarian's office. There are really just two options. One of the options is cremation, but the other option is landfill. You know, I've always um, seen the wooden urns with the cremains. Are there other urns that are available? I see we're sitting in front of some beautiful urns here. Well, one of them is the Odyssey series. They have, actually have the paw prints on the top. They have screw on tops. Here's another example with the raccoon and copper. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Isn't that sweet? It sure is. It's, uh, it's new to the, to the line and is very well received. Um, something else that we have is the uh, token urns. And this heart is an example. Um, token urns are used for sharing of a pet's remains. There may be a family where the pet was the daughters as well as the parents and what we can do is we can share the cremains by placing some of the um, some of them in one of the token urns. Token urns are also used for pocket pets. Uh, we don't limit it, limit cremation to dogs and cats. Um, there are all sorts of pets, rabbits, Birds. I was going to say, you have exotic pets here. What are the different types of some of the exotic pets you've had? Iguanas, dragon lizards, parrots. We've also taken care of family goats, a pot-bellied pig, um, and uh, even box turtles. That's family. A pet is a pet. A pet is a pet. What's available in permanent memorial um, options as to the choice of where the cremains would be placed? We have presently two options here. One is our ossuary, which is a human vault that's been submerged down into the ground and um, the cremains can be placed in there. They're there permanently. And we also have the columbarium. The columbarium has 48 openings, which are called niches, and they're family owned and quite a few pets' cremains can actually be placed in there. If a person wants to commemorate their pet, what's available? One of our favorites is, um, is the paw, paw print jewelry. My earrings are actually the nose print of one of my dogs that died in 2008, and um, Mika. And there's a company that can um, engrave her, no her nose print or paw print onto the jewelry. And the necklace is another one of my dogs, little, my little chip man who died. And uh, so that's definitely one, one way to do so. We also have granite memorials, uh, brick pavers, outside by the ossuary where a pet's name um, can be um, forever out here in granite stone. And how about services? Do they actually have services just like for people? We do. We offer memorial services on the fourth Tuesday of every month at no charge and um, other services can be arranged as well. I understand Heaven's Pets is a cremation and a bereavement center. It is, and we have two licensed social workers who offer grief groups on the second Tuesday of every month. We understand how difficult a loss of a pet is, and we are here to help, help people. Even people who have, who have not used our cremation services are welcomed to our grief groups. You know, it's wonderful that I've learned about this because most people don't know that there's services available like this for their pets when they pass. Absolutely. A lot of people don't even want to think about, about what will happen. Well, we opened here in April of 2006. Stewart Enterprises went into a joint venture with Heaven's Pets to open Heaven's Pets at Lake Lawn Metairie. Uh, they found Stewart Enterprises felt like it would be another way to serve their families. And, um, and we do it in the, with the utmost respect. Stewart Enterprises is uh, an expert in human death care and we're joined with them and offer the best in pet death care.